Welcome to Really Dicey. Today we're going to look at Starfinder Deck of Many Worlds. And uh, when I hear that title, I haven't seen what's inside here, but when I hear that title, I think of, you know, Deck of Many Things. I'm sure that's what they were going for. Okay, so let's open this up and make, be sure to stay tuned, stay tuned to the end of the video where I'll give this my rating. So inside you have a hundred world cards. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Right. And then there are about half a dozen cards or so that tell you how to use the deck. So these world cards are numbered one through a hundred. On one side you have a couple of aliens and a star field. On the other side you have the planet itself. So the way you use this deck, and this is all laid out for you on these cards here, is that you take one of these cards and you place it in front of you. Okay. Then you take another one of these cards and flip it over. And on the back, you'll see these arrows, these, this line here, that lines up with this, like this. On the first side, you have a picture of the planet, gravity, atmosphere, a little bit about the planet, and um, a row of descriptors at the bottom, which will become um, important when you're making the planets later. On the back of the cards, we see uh, two alien races. The one on the left is a sapient race, and the one on the right is a threat race. The text in the middle is a hook, something about the planet, and all those lines and arrows will line up with the front of a different card to make the planet. I'll show you that in a second. So, okay. what you want to do is you take your first card and you place it down on the table. Okay. And then you're going to take your next card and slip it under your first card so it's back side up and the arrows line up with the adjectives. So you've got a chord, law, chaos, good, evil, tech, religion, magic. And then you want to take yet another card, back side up, slide it underneath the first two. Okay. So you have the text underneath the first block of text. And on the either side of the card, you have what they call the star field, which basically um, is a, a D6, okay. which you use to determine this. Now, you can use those numbers to determine how many races of aliens are on the planet. So you can either add those up and you get 10, but that's an awful lot of aliens. So we're just, for the moment, we're just going to go with five. So you draw another card and you slide it underneath the first one. There's a lot of this. It's like setting up solitaire cards. You slide it over so that the left-hand alien is sticking out of the left. This is one of the planet's sapient races. And then you do this. Now this, this is all random? Yep, all random. You're just drawing randomly from the deck. Okay, so five of these is going to get a little tricky. So let's just have two. Okay. And then using the star field again to get a number, let's go with two. You slide cards under the right-hand side with the right-hand alien sticking out. These are threat aliens, not necessarily sentient, just problems. And you slide these under here. Now, using this little arrangement of cards, you have a planet. You can read this planet as, um, as so. Here we have, it says it's a gas giant. The accord represents how well the planet government gets along with itself and with its neighbors. So the arrow points up. That means that this is a pretty um, well-governed planet. It gets along with its neighbors. These law and chaos, you put these together to get an alignment. So a line means neutral and... The plus for good and evil, I mean, the uh, ascending arrow is good. So this planet's character is neutral good. Okay. Tech. It is a low-tech world because there's an arrow pointing downwards. Next to that, the religion is a just a line, which means religion is present, but it's not a powerful force on this world. It's also a low magic world. Magic arrow is pointing down. Okay, so now... We can look at the aliens. There are two, uh, there should be five, but I only wanted to put out two. <laughs> so there are two 
uh, sapient races living here. There are the the Han, bull- the Han and the Bulleted. Now, I don't know anything about those two, so they tell us where to look them up. The Han can be found in Starfinder Alien Archives. Okay. The Bulleted can be found in Alien Archives 2. Okay. Now, when, I, when I first opened up this book, this this uh, product, I was rather annoyed to discover that I needed 12 other products to know what these aliens were. Uh, but as it turns out, those are all actually accessible online. In the, uh, in the instruction cards that come with the set, they give you a um, website to look it up, and they have all these aliens there. Hmm. So you, all you really need is this Starfinder deck. So those are your sapient races. On the right-hand side, you have the threat races. So we have a Marrow Blight and a Volesk. Well, those look pretty nasty. And again, those can all be found online. You need to look those up to see what they are. Now the last part of the card down below, we have two hooks, which are things about the planet that we can you know, role-playing hooks. So one says that the planet is enveloped by a personality-altering aura, causing the alignment of visitors to change subtly or drastically. Okay. That's pretty amazing, oh. especially since it's neither magical, religious, or technical, mm. <laughs> according to the cards. And I would assume that the planet makes you more lawful good, or neutral good. So the planet just exudes an area of goodness how does that relate to the um threat species i wonder okay so the second hook says that this planet is home to a large population of specially adapted dinosaurs in addition to the two to the sapiens and the threats so there are a specially adapted neutral good dinosaurs on this planet as well and so that is how this deck works Okay, you, so it builds a scenario. It builds a scenario that then you have to take and make something out of. And you can get much more complicated. Okay. You can make moons. It tells you how to do the same thing, kind of in miniature, moons for this planet. You can make entire systems. You can use it to generate uh, player characters, kind of give you a home world and, a, and an alien species that you are. You can also use it to generate non-player characters. Um so it really is a deck of many, many, many worlds. The okay. combinations must run to the millions. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't answer everything about the world. And sometimes, uh, by random chance, you'll get a world that doesn't really make sense. But that's part of the fun. You have to. You have to interpret what you see there and make a world out of it. Okay. Yeah. I. So, well, that's kind of. In a way, sort of fun. There's oh. always something random. Something, no, it is fun. It's, it's, it's thought-provoking. It's a starting point. Um, it's, uh, it's relatively fast to lay, easy to lay out, and uh, relatively fast. You can't use it at the table. It's, there are too many variables. So, so it's not like a you know, ship flies into a system, oh, let's see what's there. Yeah. But it is um, very useful to use between sessions for the GM to brainstorm about new ideas. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I, I found it very worthwhile, and um, I would give it an intelligence score of 15. 15? Yes, I would say it's a good starting point. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this looks great. I, I could see this even if I wasn't playing Starfinder, if I was playing some sort of space adventure yes. outside of it, it it's could be used for that as well. Definitely. Although, you do need to know where to find stats for these races. Well, and like I said, you can look those all up online. So that adds another step to it um but at least that information is there and even without the races you know just the um the hooks and and the little um uh, the little adjectives about the the world okay give you a lot definitely um definitely enough to go on really kind of start the process all right excellent excellent so what do you view is to cover this uh, let us know what you think in the comments below. Um, this looks great. Thank you very much.